good morning, second grade. So this week we're going to study about uh, our last two shorebirds. It's the turnstone and the willet. And right now I'm on the uh, All About Birds Ruddy Turnstone page, which has a beautiful picture of a turnstone right here. This is the, the one that has the calico coloring. If you've ever seen a calico cat, you probably recognize the coloring here. It's a mix of orange, black, and white. Um, all turnstones have orange legs. It's usually a pretty bright orange that we see here. They are short legs for a bird, especially a bird that hangs out by the water. So generally speaking, they are not in the water. They're walking around the rocks. They also, if you look at their body, they have quite a, a large kind of oval body. Um, so they're a pretty hardy bird, but, but short. Let's uh, listen to the sounds they make. It's pretty nice. Their beak is specifically designed to help them um, get the things that they eat. So you'll, as you see down here, they're generally walking around the beach, but on rocks um, or sand, and they will actually turn stones over. This is how they get their name. They will turn stones over to find food. So I think we could see in this video, they're picking through the stones on the beach and looking for food. So not walking in the water usually, but close to the water and looking through what's there to find the hidden food in between the rocks. Oh, look, I found something. So yeah, so that beak is, is thin. It's, it's very pointed. It helps them flip the rocks over and get into that food so that they can eat. All right, I'm gonna go back to the facts here because there were some pretty interesting facts about the uh, ruddy turnstone. So another really good adaptation for it because it does walk uh, along the rocks that are wet usually um, they have very um, specific feet that are made for doing this. So as you guys know, uh, when we went to the beach, if you're walking on those rocks, they tend to be really slippery and that's dangerous. So they have um, feet that are specially designed to not slip. They have spines on their foot and they're short. And they also have sharply curved toenails that help, help them hold on. Also, their short legs help them with gravity. So they're closer to the ground with their short legs, so then they would have uh, less distance to fall. And here you can see the, the curved toenails that they have that help them grip to the rock. Um, their habitat, as you can see, when they're not breeding is this light blue, and that literally is like all over the coastline. So that's all over the United States coastline, going all the way down to South America, and also on the eastern side of the United States as well. So they basically can be found uh, many, many places. So next time you're at the beach, look for the ruddy turnstone. 